everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having the most incredible day if this is your first time on my channel my name is sebastian and i welcome you guys with open arms girl listen i do tea videos every single day okay so if you're looking for a new messy best friend who's going to spill tea on pop culture reality tv influencer tea honey you have found him so make sure you hit that subscribe button but before we get into this tea bitch get a snack and a drink because you know what tea tastes better with biscuits I don't have biscuits, but I do have tea. The, all the selection you need, honey. Okay, so listen. Kyle Richards, Kyle Richards, Kyle Richards. Now, look, 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 right? Kyle Richards, girl, it is has not been an easy time for her. She has gotten tons of backlash over the Garcelle situation and defending Erica and laughing along of, you know, Erica cursing out Garcelle's 14-year-old. Listen, you guys, I... I have seen, obviously, and we have talked a lot about Kyle Richards' backlash. There has been many people who have jumped ship from loving Kyle to saying, like, goodbye, Kyle. You know what I mean? And she really, really is showing another side of her. Kyle, for me, has turned from housewife to sort of producer to make this a really interesting season. So I just... Just watch, because I'm doing a little something about the hills. I don't know if you guys remember the show. Feel the rain on your skin. You know, Lauren Conrad, Heidi Montag, Spencer. Well, get, get ready, because I'm about to hit you with some nostalgia very soon. But before I do that, I wanted just to share, um, Spencer Pratt, he said in an interview, I think it was with Call Her Daddy, um, that Purdue, like they would get more money if certain episodes hit a higher rating. So he would like literally come up with ways to make the show more interesting and to make the scenes more dramatic so more people will talk and more people will tune in so they would get like a pay advance no i don't like a raise or something right um so i get kind of like the same vibe from kyle where you know kyle's been here for 250 episodes since day one and you know kyle for me, the way that she was handling Sutton, the way that she's like always inserting herself in conversations, eavesdropping, like I remember it when they were in the house and Garcelle was on the phone, or was it Erica? One of them were on the phone and like Kyle was like sneaking to eavesdrop. Kyle, I believe is desperately trying to make this show like extra dramatic. But the thing is, is that she is there to be a housewife. And if you become a hated housewife, you are very kind of likely to be fired because look, people love to hate. They love to hate watch, which I don't understand people like that, but that's not my business. But then there's people who hate hate. And if they hate hate and everything you do, they analyze and everything you say they analyze, they just hate you. They just want to see you, you know, literally like out. If the producers see that, that it's that hate, you know, she probably will get fired. You know what I mean? So I think that she is trying so hard to be so out there and producer-like to get better episodes. But what she is doing is she is tarnishing her, you know, her her reputation. Because listen, now in my household, we're Lisa Vanderpump fans, okay? We are, we love Lisa Vanderpump. But I also have a very soft side for Kyle because I love Kyle since the very beginning. And you know what? When Kyle lets her hair down and she is fun and loose, she makes me laugh a lot, right? And I love her dynamic when she's partying and she's, you know, doing the splits and the pony, you know, the hair and all of these things. And I, and I love that. But this season, like, I just hate the way that, like, she sounded so entitled when Sutton was in the middle, Diana was in the, you know, in one side and Kyle was on the other side. And Sutton opens up about her freaking two miscarriages and Kyle just turns and like, well, I didn't know that. Well, how come I didn't know that? Well, we didn't know that. And like that moment right there, I was like, how entitled are you? Like, why did you, why, did, because you didn't know about it, this didn't happen. I do believe that sudden, girl, she's a mess, right? She's a mess since her first episode, you know? But I really do believe in my heart that in that moment, she wanted to connect with Diana and say, I know what you're going through. You know what I mean? And Diana, of course, took it all wrong and said like, you know, you were trying to one up me, right? 
So you say, oh my God, that part you guys was insane. You know, the last episode when Diana and Sutton were sitting across the table and she was like, so you say, oh my God, that is, I didn't, I didn't know, bitch, I didn't know where to look. Like I wanted to hide, right? Um, I say the following. I love what they're doing with New York about the legacies, right? With the legacies we have, um, well, allegedly we have Countess, Sonia, Jill, Bethany, Giselle, uh, uh, what's her name? Giselle Ben Simone. No, that is not. That, yeah, I think it's just no. It's girl. I don't know, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, and then we have Alex McCord. Um, I love that idea. Am I missing somebody? Well, no, I'm not because oh, and Dorinda, of course, Dorinda. Um, but it's reported the rumors that Ramon is not in it. But anyways, to the point, right? I love what they're doing about bringing like the the original, right? Dorinda's not part of the original but she is a very very loved you know housewife in the franchise well actually i don't know about now because after watching her on ultimate girls trip ex-wives club like i'm just like i don't know if dorinda needs to stay on pause and this is coming from somebody who loves dorinda okay i'm telling you dorinda is my girl she is my spirit animal <clears throat> i love this like i'm loving dorinda but i feel like she is literally proving the point of why she was on pause but anyways that's another thing so going back to beverly hills i think that it would be kind of cool to get the original you know what i mean we have lisa vanderpump you know we have kim richards we have kyle we have camille we have taylor and we have um i always forget her name adrian and i think like am i missing somebody i don't know i think i i don't think i am but i think it would be kind of cool to get that and then just revamp beverly but the thing is, right, because Erica is facing so many legal issues that maybe she won't be coming back. Kyle has getting so much backlash that maybe she's not coming back. Dorit, honestly, I can get, you know, it's like she's not there. And then Sutton and Garcelle are just giving it their all. So I think they need to stay. And then I think the rest just need to go, right? But at the same time, I don't like change. So I just want to see them. But I am ready for some freshness, you know, and I think... Going back to Kyle, I think that Kyle needs to sit one season out. You know, maybe get freshed up, maybe get like, you know, more energy for, for the next season and sort of touch down back to basic basics and see if she even wants to return because you know, now she's doing Halloween too. You know, um, she was nominated for an MTV uh, reality show award. Um, and uh, no, actually she was voted for an MTV movie award, I believe. Um, and yeah, so I think, I think Kyle should go on a pause. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. And I think I'm really ready for Lisa Vanderpump to come uh, back. But I also, for some reason, would love to see Denise Richards come back because I just feel like Denise left the show so bad. And I feel like maybe it would be a good time for her to try and come back. Maybe like Kyle can sit this one out and then like Lisa Vanderpump can come. We can have, uh, we can have like Garcelle Sutton, Lisa Vanderpump, Denise Richards, and then just new ones. Maybe Dorit, you know, Dorit sometimes is messy, but I'm ready to see Lisa Rinna go and I'm ready to see Erica go. And I'm not ready to see Kyle go, but I think she does need a little pause. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.